next semester? Or are you just gonna go strictly casting? Alright, here we Not go, sure. guys. Hold up. Thank you okay. for joining the Lada <clears throat> Esports League uh, stream. Or, well, it's not a stream. You guys are watching the uh, pre recorded segment. This is the losers bracket action between Good as Gold and FD Flakers. This is playoff week. And we are in. Uh, there's just one more week. Next week will be the grand finals. But today we are gonna figure out who gets to the grand finals. <laughs> will it be UOG? And co or collab koalas who are currently playing on the UOG Trident Esports stream, or will it be one of these two teams, uh, Good as Gold or FD Flakers? This is a losers bracket match, best of one. Good as Gold, the third seeded team, and uh, FD Flakers fourth seeded. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm, I'm joined by Cly and Damiman. We are currently in the draft picks, guys. Yes. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hey. Hey. So guys, morning. So, um, in terms of the ban for Good as Gold, it seems like they're just targeting Toxic Wood Player and Skyla here with the Yasuo and the Lulu ban. Recently, Lulu got buffed where her attack speed bonus for her W increased early game. So, that's a pretty good ban too since we're, she got recently buffed. Uh, the Lasaga ban agree. for Good as Gold for Gomomo. He was like the star player for the team. And um, Thresh ban, I'm not sure. Maybe that's for Mr. Miyagi. Is that the support for Good it, as Gold? It, I believe it, it, um, it is Mr. Miyagi. No, no, no. Just kidding. It's, um, I think it's Alwix. I've never seen this guy's name before. Dave 2 Brave is the ADC. Mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi is the jungler. But he also played support. So okay. he's like flexed. Okay, okay so... that's Gomomo's Gragas mid. Yeah, that's interesting. I never really seen a Gragas mid yet. Maybe I yeah. did, but it's not that sure. Ooh, Seraphine first And pick. we left the Seraphine open. Yay, and the Vladimir too, wow. Oh, FD you just honestly got two left. of their best picks possibly I... right here. That's Ocean Cam's best hero for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. for sure. That, like, it's perma banned in GOG games. We don't allow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because honestly, Vladimir is just a good scaling uh, champion and if he gets fed, he'll just steamroll your team. And it seems like Ooh. there's a rumble pick. Is that going to be for top, jungle, or mid? Because I'm not too Whoa. sure. Because he can go in three different roles, right? Okay, there nice. goes the Jinx. Wow, Jinx. That's a good pick. You know, I haven't seen Best. Jinx in rumble since we started doing uh, Laddie uh -huh. Esports League events. I've never seen Actually. Jinx play. Actually, remember. Jinx is probably the most premier S tier ADC at the moment. Yes. Although, yes, she got a bug fix where her her rockets her, do less damage. Yeah. It's still she's still S tier OP at the moment. Because yeah, uh, she's just such a good hyper carry for team fights. All you need to do is switch to your rockets and just fire away, and get excited if someone gets down or you get a kill yourself. So, Agreed. Pretty good. Uh, pick and you up. see Soft Cookie Soft picking up the Volibear jungle. That's uh, it. Really good. Uh, Volibear is in a decent spot, I think, uh, since the nerfs to Chem Tank and all the other, like Udir and all them. I think Volibear mm -hmm, is pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, kind of agree on that one. Now, uh, Cholgath banned for the side Ooh. of FD Flakers. Don't I don't know, know about that, that one. Towards two, but I guess, no. Cholgath is a pretty good band. No, too. John Wick's the top laner. Yeah, John Wick is the top laner. Hecker and Ban kind of right. seems weird to me. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like he's you're, just you're a little weak. Like, he's just yeah. a jungler, right? Like, I mean, that's this main mm -hmm. role. So, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, I, I I feel like you don't think Volibear is being flexed as a mid or no. anything it, else. Like, he, can be flexed a... into, he can be flexed into top and jungle, specifically. Yeah. So, I mean, if you already have a, a jungle pick, why would you ban the Hecker? You know, it's kind of a weird Exactly. Uh -huh. you know, yeah, that's true. But we already know that. Uh, Ocean Cancer is gonna go to with his top Vladimir, and that interesting hugger. Callista, very I don't interesting know what this hugger. Pick. There it is. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. Kogma Kog did receive a really oh. great buff lately. That, and I think I've been spamming him because I think he's really strong, especially with the Lulu Kogma. Mm -hmm. But even adding just Seraphine even makes it even just better. That's I think very, I, that's a very Ooh, surprising, Alistar pick. surprising pick to me. To see the play. Leona, Alistar or Leona? Maybe Alistar here would be good, just so he can just go all in for his team. 
I agree. I, I think you need something more heavier engaged, though. That's a lot more concrete to hit. Because if you don't lock down the Kog'Maw long enough, uh, mm -hmm. Seraphine will just but keep them alive. But I feel like if, they, if their team con wants to go all in, it's just going to be so good for the Vladimir. Because if you go all in and you all clump up, Vladimir is just going to ult you, press E, W, and then your health bar is just going to disappear, right? So it's do you just going to go down. Do you think they, they're going to pick Yone for Toxic Yone Warfare? here? Or yeah. Mm. Maybe. That's a possibility, too. I don't think so, only because it's Gragas mid for sure. Hmm, yep, the top answer. karma. Top karma. So that's a good yeah. answer to the Vladimir and the Seraphine. Oh, okay. So they well, have their own type of uh, shielding, AoE shielding. The, the only problem I see on Gooda's gold side is they drafted triple AP top side, which is really bad into Ocean Can. Because mm -hmm. now Ocean Can can just rush Spirit Visage or something like that yeah, and yeah. just be just completely tanky. And Even Volibear. Like accident pick for Toxic Wood player. Ooh. Interesting. Now it looks like both teams are heavy AP. Yeah. That is so. Is... That, that feels a little weird because uh, Vo Volibear has APs damage Kogma has ap damage too so it's bad like, uh... it, it's a pure ap team on the other side man if they uh -huh. just drafted mundo from good as gold oh my he is like one of the premier tanks where you no, go AP, just... mr when you see a lineup like this that's full ap don't you feel that this is just susceptible to like just itemization like can't they just buy like i don't know some defensive correct yeah, yeah, correct, Ken. Uh -huh. hmm. So it's like uh, really the, like the all MR their stuff into one basket, pretty much. Like, basically, uh, they both want to get to the late game and make their Jinx hype and Kogma hyper carries just carry through the AD side, which is fair. Uh, you don't really need that too much ADC if you rely on your uh, if you believe that your AD can do really well. Okay, now here's the thing for team fighting wise: if Awix can flank or find a flanking point. Just to go on that Kogma, then I guess um, Good Ass Gold has a, a chance, a big chance to just steamroll um, FD here. But if uh, if they can't target the Kogma, then I guess it's just going to be hard for them because two of them have, or both teams actually have good uh, late game carries. You have the Jinx for the side of um, Good Ass Gold. GG. And then maybe the Rumble too. I'm not too sure. But for FD, you have Vladimir and Kogma. And even Kastanin. I forgot about Kastanin. Once he reaches level 16, he's going to be a big threat for the carries of um, Good as Gold. So uh, let me let me ask you. So like like in, in, in a Dota, like another MOBA, right? Um, mm -hmm. Like the ability to siege towers is, is pretty relevant. Like you can't really have a draft without that. Like you need to have that. Um, mm -hmm. But in League, it's different, right? Because you have that Rift Herald. You you know you have ways to kind of force down you got towers, that right? Too. Yeah. So do, is that a factor in this at all, or I mean, uh, um, both of these? If I had to, if I had to decide on that one, I would say Good as Gold has the better Siege comp, just because they have the Rumble, Gragas, and uh, mm -hmm. flanking ability with Alistar too. So if they were able to attack topside, get the Rift Heralds, they may be able to snowball a little bit early in the game. Mm -hmm. And but we're we're saying late game scaling. Both teams look pretty even. <clears throat> yeah, they look pretty nasty. I think uh, the one that who has who's more favored is um, FD here, just because they have three, and I'm get, and it looks like Goldas Gold only has one as of right now, which is just the Jinx. I agree. So it's all about Dave Too Brave here, just having good positioning late game or in a team fight. And if he can survive in a team fight, then I guess they might just probably win the the game or at least have a fighting chance. So you know, in their first matchup in the regular season, I'm I'm pretty sure that Good as Gold won. They they were able to beat FD. Uh, yes. And it was an interesting game. It was pretty weird I, I feel like fd may have may have been ahead like quite a bit and then they kind of just didn't close out the game and good as gold like was able to capitalize mm -hmm. um but this is a one game series and there's a lot of pressure only the winner moves on so it'll be very interesting to see how this game plays out if uog uh becomes aggressive again this time around but 
instead of letting up on the pressure if they continue to be aggressive. I guess we'll just have to see. Or if, uh, you know, good as gold, just, you know, maybe they have a better plan this time around. We don't know. I agree. I think it also matters on what's going to be built from that karma. If it's going to be the tank karma top lane, I think that's where good as gold will lose. Mm -hmm. But if it's see. if it's a Shirelia battle song karma that's sticking onto the Jinx while Alistair is out freely flanking, then it might be able to turn fights. So it seems like uh, it's oh. going to be Grass Karma. That might be a Tank Karma. It could possibly be Tank Karma. Which, I'm not too sure how that fares into the Vladimir. I'm not a top lane main. I suck at top lane. Mm -hmm. But I would think Karma has the better early game, while Vladimir just scales better. Yeah, I, th I think so too, because... Karma's just gonna try to keep poking you out, but as we know, Vladimir's just gonna heal up all that damage that you did to him, and it's nothing like ever happened. All right, straight into the game. Uh, Let's see it. Gosh, these icons are so small, and I don't know who's what. Okay, here we go. There we go. There you go. Karma. Now, I wonder if these, I wonder if FD is gonna properly do their five point, uh, points here because usually they have a history of not doing it properly, and uh, <laughs> they tend to die from it or pay for it. So it Quite seems possibly. like, it seems like good as gold here is trying to invade the top side of FDs. FD's uh, oh. jungle here, and it seems like they're also FD's also doing the same thing maybe, or they're just. Um, they could be just be together. stacking. Yeah, they're just stacking just in case for an invade, but it seems like no one, no one's meeting each other here. That feels a little awkward. True. Well, actually, this is more favored in Gus Gold because if they just start drop some wards here, then they'll be able to get, you know. Uh, good information from where the jungler is, but no one is gonna drop any wards at all. Nothing? No one? one? No. Uh, okay, Gamomo looks like he's gonna do something. I think he's trying to Okay, take there the... you go. There we go. Oh, now I got a ward. Kind of interesting, uh, little... That was a very interesting start. Now, I wonder if... Soft cookie here is gonna try to prioritize and get bot lane fed or the castle. Oh, look at this taking the. Uh... I feel like you get the bot lane fed or the castle and fed more than the Kogma, only because mm -hmm. castle and just, just ripping apart Jinx will win the game faster mm -hmm. than Kogma front to back. Like, the moment he hits level 16, I think it might be a little hard for Good as Gold to even try to come back from the game, right? Unless Toxic would play her magically. His keyboard and mouse disconnects so what do you think then, about mr miyagi taking the red buff oh, no. well i think it would oh wait a minute it seems like a it, level two it, gank is happening oh oh uh, mr burn, miyagi burn flash though maybe if he hit the e first it looked yeah, like he had so much time mm -hmm. but that was a good gank uh, nonetheless from mr miyagi here forcing True. ocean can's flash but even then, uh, a flashless Vladimir is not really gonna, uh, you know, matter as much because he has his pull. So he could just play it out and stay under his tower. And it seems like Soft Cookie here was not aware that his red was taken and he didn't go to Mr. Miyagi's jungle here. Now it's True. I don't know if that's gonna. You know, I, know I, I like set him back. exactly, and I like this set. I like this strategy from Good as Gold because Soft Cookie. This is where he struggled last week. You know, with mm -hmm. Pon yes. Ponkins, like invading his jungle, taking a lot of his farm, and kind of just ruining his rotation, like of how mm -hmm. he wanted to farm the camps, and it yes. set him far behind in all the games. So I and think it, uh, maybe mm -hmm. Good as Gold really caught on to that, and you know, tried to apply that in some shape here. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's interesting. That's true. Oh, it I seems agree. like uh, Rumble There's here is a Rumble little too low. Ooh. Seems like it was about to die here to the Cassidy. Not sure about this one, man. Yeah, Might die. he's yeah, probably... Blood. Oh, oh, man. First blood going to Toxic World player here. I'm not really sure what Gomomo was thinking there. Just 
going in front of the Cassidy. And, oh, and a flash. Oh, but Mr. Meow, that was clean. Oh, I didn't even get to see that. There was action in the top lane. Yeah, Mr. Meow is oh, avenging his mid lane player. Mm -hmm. I killed her. Oh, we're looking bot lane right now. Oh, Alistair's oh, Alistair going in. They got the flash on Skyla, which is really oh, good, but the TP coming in. down. Acid in here. Or toxic with player. Uh, I don't like know if this is really going to matter. Oh, but the, the return TP? The counter? Oh, the double counter TP. They I might be able to goodness. kill Toxic Wood player. Oh, like good as gold player. with good reaction and good counterplay on the bot lane there. Great honestly. communication. Great communication. Wow. Good as gold here. Just surprisingly with how they're playing right now. It feels like they're they're really playing as a team. That was, that was like two TPs. On the Great. side of good ass gold, and he got three kills off of it or two kills off of it. True. That was a great response. That was a great response. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it was coarse. It wasn't like you know the the seraphine or something. Like it was like Cogma. Usually, usually yeah. when you see these Guam players play, you usually don't see that. The only type of uh, the only team that I see that do that is usually UOG. Yes. That does that double TP play. But seeing it from good ass gold, I guess they took a little bit of. Uh, notes from ULG and they use it. Yeah, it was a I agree. good play. We got Toxic Wood players still putting pressure on uh, Gamomo in mid though. Yep. And I also like where the kills went to. You know, going to Gragas and Ra mm -hmm. uh, Rumble and Jinx, that just excels the their more late game prowess and early game prowess. Yeah. Not not like uh, where, I mean, of course, Toxic Wood player getting that first kill is also good as well, but helping Jinx get ahead early as possible would probably be able to snowball into a, a good mid game. Yeah. Now, it seems like Gomomo here is having a little bit of trouble with, against um, Toxic Wood players casting in here. And personally speaking, if you're playing Rumble, you need to know how to manage his heat. Because if you don't, you're going to be like just a sitting duck while you're just auto attacking, right? You need, yep. you, know, you need to know when to get overheated and when not to be overheated. Because if you're overheated, you can't use any of your spells, and the only thing that you have is your auto attacks. That does like, uh, it's like a mini Nash's tooth effect. True, and they like did an buff that damage. recently. Mm -hmm. But they nerfed it though, specifically for oh, mid lane it? rumble. Yes, oh, for yeah. mid lane rumble, they nerfed it. Let me see them prep for the Drake here. It's good. It's good prep. This trick should be free, honestly. There's no reason why FD even tries to contest this, I think. Mm -hmm. Their bot lane is behind and that Jinx is kind of fed a little bit. And Kassadin, or like Toxic with player, is not there to at least respond to it. So it'll be a free Cloud Dragon for the side of good as gold here. And it seems like Soft Cookie here is ganking John Wick. John Wick. But and look at the tank good. karma. Woo! Oh, and ah, it's... And... Ooh, that's really painful to see. Uh -huh. uh, the kill uh, we talked about it forwards. earlier. Vladimir. Ocean can here. Yep. And just look at the CS difference between Ocean can and John Wick. 19 to oh, 47 that's CS. Crazy. That is like a t maybe 30 CS difference? That's am I right or am I wrong? That you're well, right. That's about now. two kills too. Well, yeah. Oh, but look at Bot Lane. Alex are getting Ooh, Dave oh, too okay. brave getting a kill. Really good mm -hmm. setup by Dave Too Brave there, being able yep. to get the traps and then into the Alistair combo. Mm -hmm. Very good synergy between uh, Dave Too Brave and Awix here. Now, oh wait a minute, seems like Toxic with players just going in, having a little skirmish with the Momo. Both of them have well, a little bit of the same HP here. Waiting in the sidelines there. I think you just make a play here just because you saw Soft Cookie far away. Yep, there mm -hmm. you go, they go no, on to the Soft ready. Cookie. Yep. Nice. Good good barrel. Oh, but where's the rumble ulti? Did he use it already? No, he didn't. Uh, no, he didn't. I guess maybe they're just too afraid mm. that they're going to get bursted by Toxic with play here. And they just don't want to get him fed anymore. Really weird. Seeing how uh, John Wick also had Pryo and lane to walk. That was basically uh -huh. a 3v1, 3v2. Oh, okay. Seems nice. like Skyla here flashing in and they get the kill onto Awix. Kogma spinning okay. around the map again. Is it Kogma me or is, is that such a cool character? Is it me or is that skin make him a little too big? 
Who, Kog'Maw? It, it looks a little big. It really does. Yeah. It looks huge. So, uh, that is such a cool skin, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It it's is. A, it's a nice skin. It's a nice bright yellow. Mm -hmm. Which Perfect could be game. pay to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which could be pay to lose in the way that it's super yeah, bright yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah, true, very true. So, now, my, the things that I mentioned earlier about uh, Ocean Can and Kastin are toxic with player getting ahead, and it seems like it's gonna happen this game. Oh, wait a minute, it seems like. Oh! Okay. So, Ooh, toxic close. with player here getting go way safely. Having to waste a splash, though. Still uh, good for him, nonetheless. Not giving any kills up. Uh, okay, so I, as I was saying, the only person who's gonna be able to carry the, the team for good as gold is the Jinx, and it seems like it's happening. But for FD Flakers, Ocean Can and um, Toxic the player here has kills on them. That's not what you want for two hyper carries. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they're I agree. far ahead from their opposing uh, mm -hmm. laners as well. But... Yep. In terms of CS, at least. 20 CS, 40 CS difference, or even 30 CS for the top lane. It's crazy. That's I, I guess it's it's fair for Karma to be low. I mean, of course, it's not bad, good. But since mm -hmm. he is going the support role, um, as you can see from the build, he built a... Uh, what's that? The, the mirror thing? Moonstone. The mirror item? Moonstone. Uh, Moonstone Renewer, I think. Yeah. That, that's what she's going to build. Glass. I think that's terrible. I think he should actually go straight into uh, Shirelia's. I think Shirelia's is probably the best support item at the moment because of the attacks or the movement speed that you'll get from it to be able to keep Dave too brave wait a long. It oh, seems wait, like but a bot lane? is happening. X guy landing Dave the ult onto uh, Dave too brave here, and it seems like Dave too brave is just dead. Ooh, Can't but we got a TP from oh, Karma and the ult going through by soft cookie. Oh, John Wick. Oh, man. And it's oh, gonna no. cost him, probably. And this yep. is looking really bad for uh, G he GAG. But so he's out. I'm not, not really sure what the TP was for John Wick there. He could have just, like, stayed uh, on top of... Or he should have just stayed in top and just, you know, kept farming since he's so behind already. He's 40 CS behind. Oh, but this would be Aki might be. TP's in here. Ooh. Ooh, oh, but they might through. be able to kill Skyla there with the equalizer. No, but oh, but the soft cookie okay. took a lot of damage. Dave too brave is here. They oh, got the first here. kill. Just... But your positioning's a little. Oh wait, but they got Toxic Wood player too. Oh come on! And they could nice. And they could get Joe Mai here too. Oh, huge swing. Too greedy on the part of FD. That was mm -hmm. huge for Dave too brave, and really like what you said, too greedy for FD. But. In the counter, Kogma did get two kills out of that as well, so mm -hmm. he may have been able to equalize the gold a and little bit. Look at this! Look at this uh, gold difference from both teams. It's a two K difference. Just, just about, because yeah. of the, just because of the CS difference in the top lane and in the mid lane. All right. I agree. I actually, funny enough, if you look at the gold Jinx charts. Has Rumble is a, is ahead of uh, Cassidy in gold. They probably it's, just evened out. Yeah, he did even when it came when it came, when it came to that uh, oh, another that little skirmish and fight. Oh, but it looks like oh. they're doing another skirmish here in bot lane for the dragon. Oh, it wow. seems this like Ocean Can. Uh, well. Oh no! They're just are they going in? Going on. Yep, it seems like no. It looks Eric, like what are you doing? Er Alwix. Gamomo here, out of position. What? I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, I sure guess it's just doing. bad team communication right now. Uh -oh. Everyone's probably... Oh, but Dave wow. too brave? Nah, oh. Oh wow. no, double kill going to, going to Toxic with player or his cast That's again. huge. That yeah, is gonna that's... be such a... That's gonna... That's super huge and it's gonna be a problem for good as gold. True. FD really uh, bringing it back there because he, I mean, you know, it was not looking very, like they had lost momentum when they died bottom, but mm -hmm. you know, they they were able to secure the dra Drake and also, um, you know, win a big team fight. Like they wiped them there, right? So, yep, huge. So the uh, the main man, I have a question for you. For the side of good at gold, what do you think they should be doing just to come back from this game? Well, they had a really good uh, plan in the beginning game, uh, beginning of the game where they were trying to put Ocean Can behind with Mr. Miyagi's early game pressure. 
-hmm. He has really strong pressure, but these um, random skirmishes that they're doing that never needed to be happening mm -hmm. was is kind of what's killing them. So what they have to do is basically just slow down the temple, uh, yeah. get Dave too brave to get at least two to three items, right. and maybe attack Kogma here. Only because we already know Dave too brave is a lot stronger than Kogma at the moment. Yeah. Well, he, he should. Oh wait, no, minion. I, mean, I, I disregard that. Of, uh, Kogma actually has more gold than him at, than him at the moment. And FD also has three yeah, mythics three completed mythics already. already. Yeah. And, hmm, I'm not really sure about that. Um, Gale Force onto Kogma. Uh, uh, kind of questionable. It's, maybe he it's actually just, really good. I think he could have just went for the shield bow and like maybe you know kite and uh, depend on his team to peel for him. You already have the. Seraphine to do that for you, the W, and then you also have Ocean Can to be a threat for the back line and the front line. So maybe I, I think just went for the Kraken. Shield Bow, I, or a Kraken even, right? I, maybe I'm pretty sure you could have just gone Kraken. Shield Bow here would just be the really safer option and does damage also. Or like even lifesteal, it gives you lifesteal, so. Uh, actually, uh, I don't know, as an ADC player, I'm a, I'm an advocate where I think Gale Force is a lot better than Shield Bow. In many uh, many situations, over Shilbo. I think Shilbo for ADCs is kind of weak unless it's on Samira. As we were saying that Gomomo got dove on the bot lane by both Soft Cookie, Joe Mai, and Skyla. Oh, and oh I no! Believe... And toxic wood players gonna Soft go Cookie down. is just going in. Oh my gosh! Okay, so ooh, they should have given that wood. kill to Dave Too Brave. Mm -hmm. So toxic wood player here just flashing onto the Gragas E. Very unfortunate for the uh, for toxic wood player. Yo, know, FD has like a three k gold lead, and they got like four more kills. But the game is still very very close. Like, you so, know, I, so Jinx has has some items. She has her mythic now. Like, she's four and two. She's not yeah doing horrible. Yeah, yeah. True. So, game, so for usually Guam League, there's a tendency for these players to like uh, throw their lead, quote unquote, right? I agree. I, I've, I've seen that many uh, many times, and it really, you know, triggered me when I've seen it. Where they they weren't supposed to do something, but they did it just because. Sometimes they think like doing nothing is bad, but in actuality, doing nothing is good, right? They force things that shouldn't be forced. Mm. Let's see. I mean, this this is actually is pretty bad from uh, GAG to send four top there to get that. Mm -hmm. I think Jinx needs to be in a side lane, freezing waves, and just trying to get ahead right now yeah. because He's getting that solo XP. You're the carry. Yeah. Correct. yeah, you need the solo XP. And you need the the gold. Right now, they're just sharing too much gold between these four people. They got too the Rift Herald. They got the wave. As well. Like maybe they feel. Like Joe Mai was able to get almost a 20 CS lead at bot lane just because of doing that. So now it seems like Joe Mai here is gonna go for the. Blade of the Ruin King here. So there's a new build that I've been trying, or that I tried with Kogma, where you just... Oh, wait a minute, it seems like a fight is happening here. Soft Cookie going in. Soft Cookie here, just going in. The three-man... Oh, three -man, uh, the Therapy Wow. Oh my wow. goodness. And like we said, if you don't ban Seraphine, you should first pick it. Yup, and you should never leave it open. Wow. And that is that's that was just yeah, that's such a it. good ult by Skyla there, just hitting three people. I think Skyla it was the and Jinx. Sox looking. The Jinx, Oof. Gragas, and Alistar just got hit by that three man ulti. That was massive. It's big, man. It, it, it truly kills, man. changed the game. Five kills. Mm -hmm. It's a huge swing. And like we said in the early uh if the if G A G didn't get the early game lead then mm -hmm. they're just gonna get outscaled by both Vladimir or by all three Kogma, Vladimir, yep. Cassidy, and so you just have such a and... good scaling comp, it's crazy. And it seems like yep. GAG uh, here is just trying to force fights here and it seems like it's working out for them. And no, oh really? Jinx, Jinx oh, getting the get shotgun Jomai. gold. Okay. He can so get the Jinx, okay. maybe Jinx is actually doing it. Peel? Peel. Oh, Peel. Okay, Jinx nice. Down. You know, Okay, wow. I, I take those. I would take those. As an ADC, I take those. Yeah, that was such a good turn for uh, the side of GAG there. Jinx getting two shutdowns, but for, uh, getting a Cassidy and Kogma's shutdown gold. That's you know, pretty huge. If I'm Ocean Can, I take this top tower now. Like, 
get this down because yeah, this, this it's been there for too anything. long. You can't do it. There's no there, reason right? it should still be up, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's been staying up there too long. Yeah. I'm not sure what's happening, but exactly. we can't freeze this. You guys need to push your lead, please, and not throw it. I was just about to say before that whole skirmish happened that there's no way good as gold gets back in the game after that ace. But lo and behold, FD throwing the lead down in mid lane mm -hmm. there. Yep. Just as usual. I mean, they're still far ahead, though. They're still 5k up. Yeah. They have They are still kills, far ahead. But, you know, the good as gold team now has mythics all on every player. So these... Mm -hmm. I assume that a lot of these skirmishes will be a lot closer than they were before. And I'm hoping see. that... Arma rushes the Chemtech Creature Fire here, so that when she does her AOE shield, everyone can get Grievous Wounds. I agree. For the side of good as gold here, but if they keep um, if they keep the pace up, maybe they can come back. And if FD keeps making like these little micro mistakes of overstaying and pushing for no reason at all, or at least mm -hmm. not splitting their forces, they're just gonna end up uh, throwing their lead and maybe GIG just coming back. I mean, I feel like after they win big fights, they should still try to get an objective or force something. Mm -hmm. But, like, once you see a response of five people, like, why take that fight? <laughs> should just back away. They're full health. They just respawn. Like, you know, there's not, uh, it's not in your favor. I think in this opportunity, I feel like Dave Too Brave is pretty strong that you force this Baron here. You see Ocean Cam bot lane. You know yeah. everyone's backing off. Like, this is a pretty free Baron, but I guess they're going to go straight to trying to kill Ocean Can, which is not a bad idea as well. It's and I'm hard for kind them to of, kill him, though. as an ADC main, I'm kind of annoyed with both the ADC's builds. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's, it's uh, Jinx, you're so strong, just go the Runons and be the carry that you need to be. And then also the Bork second, there is zero tanks on the other side of, uh, except for Alistar, of you course. You can just probably go for um, Phantom Dancer here, just so you can cut a little better, in my honest exactly. opinion. Exactly. Instead of like the Blade of the Ruin King, what, what, what's that for? You, your lifesteal? Did you not go for Legend Bloodline? Yeah, no? it's, Bork is pretty terrible as an item on an EDC right now. Yeah. But they look like they are pressuring Baron. They could do it. They honestly yeah. could. You have Kog'Maw there with Bork. I guess that's fair. The only time that you'll actually and really need Ocean it. Can, Ocean Can here has his TP. So he can just respond with the TP. It, and... it looks like Good as Gold is about to spot that they are doing the Baron. But why are you pulling out? Just force. Just force Jome is actually... Okay. There you go. Now they're forcing a fight. But oh, it looks like no, the soft could be... Oh, but they can't Q Dave out. too brave. But this equalizer could change a lot, maybe in the damage. Yep. No, I'm not too sure. Nah, never mind. They can't. They just do too much oh. damage. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Well, that well, was, they a, got that the... was such a good fight for it was. FD. Just because I, I don't caught know if out that Seraphine or the the I Seraphine caught out day too brave. That's what <clears> I'm yeah. gonna say. I agree. I don't know if you realize, but. I'm not a jungle main, but Leandri is on a uh, Gragas over a Night Harvester, <laughs> or even Everfoss, or over Everfoss? the extra CC. Yeah, I'm not sure. This this I'm game really is just. Sure. Oh, uh, oh, but wait Jinx a minute. Shut down on Ocean <laughs> Can oh, because wait, they... that's gonna be so wow. huge, though. Wow. That's free Baron. Just run straight to Baron. You you see bad if you're dead. Just go, go to gold, please. Wow. No, it seems like they're gonna go for the dragon here, just because of uh. Oh, soul well, point, I think. Yeah, you're Our... right. Yeah, it's soul point. They give this one up, and it's gonna bad enough. They're behind. That was. I... UOG just can't get a break, man. Like, Yo, G. Yeah, no, I mean, like, no, they can't get a break. Or, I'm sorry, uh, FD. Like, these FD. guys are, like, so far ahead. And mm -hmm. just small things seem to just happen Ooh. to them. Like, every every time they try to go for an objective, you know? Yeah. True. So, it seems like... I think they just rushed Baron here. I think they should. And, like, maybe I... Alex should find a flank onto that Kog'Maw because Kog'Maw has no flash. True. If you should try to hide in the bush and just stay there, please. No, let's see what happens here. This is not what I meant, but this this works. 
Uh, they're doing a death brush, cheese brush. There's no reason why Dave Too Brave should be the first one like that. Oh my god, dude. This man has a... He is sometimes too brave. <laughs> that's that's just a name, you know? Mm -hmm. so. He's a that's scary ADC, guy. but you know what? I play the same way, so I can't even say anything. <laughs> I, would, I would never play that way. Like, for me, speak uh, Personally speaking, I've done, I've died too many times like that. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I I'm done playing like that. True. Okay, yeah. But hey, we have our own uh, ways of playing, right? And it seems oh, like looks like DAG they're here forcing Baron. Yeah, forcing Baron here. I I believe they do know Ocean Can does not have TP, yep, so and they they're gonna Ali's be forcing this. But it seems like um, oh, but Mr. Mr. Miyagi, Miyagi is just taking. taking too much damage from the Baron. Uh oh. Yeah, you know, I I think plan, F I, I, FD I like... can force this, but they might be in a really bad spot, FD here. Yeah, for just the because the rumble. Oh, oh no, but nice. it, ooh, it hit the four man oh. Skyla. Ah, oh. very nice play by Skyla. Skyla just oh, tore this game apart. Goodness, hey, this is why you ban Seraphine, am I right? Exactly, it's one hundred percent the reason why you ban Seraphine. And they didn't even need Ocean Can here. One of the Fed players on the side of. Uh, FD Flaker. Just that it's... Seraphine ulti hitting four people was just game changing. Huge. Super it was huge. 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 I, I mean, and I really I, if... like the way Good as Gold has played this game. It's just, you know. I don't know. They, like they, to, you know like, I would yeah. like to call this a draft diff. Yeah. I agree. It's literally just a draft diff. Good as gold probably has way better communication just by like the early game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I for saw sure. That one. Very good. For sure, their communication like... is probably a lot better. It's just the draft team, that. Just yeah, team cop wise, FD wins this. And look at that, Gomomo just standing Whoa, there. Oh, Gomomo. Oh, okay. But Joma is a little okay. too far forward. Give it to Dave. Him, okay. It's a big kill. More money on Dave. We like to see it. Okay. And you know, like and... Uh, Jinx has been involved, like I think too early into the match. Like instead of you know kind of farming up a bit. She was mm -hmm. like forced to play as as the four, you know, as that as the four stack running around, and I think you know she just didn't have time to kind of really come online. But you know she's eight, six, and five right now. It's not horrible, right? I, I, not I at they, all. They can still be in this game. Like they can still win this game. Mm -hmm. I mean they're they, they still 12k they behind though, but. Knowing how these players play, there's a tendency for them to just make one mistake Broke. and then, yeah, just throw the game like that. I, I feel think... like they That's just crazy. need to give Mr. Miyagi just needs to give all the money to Dave Too Brave here. Just stop taking your jungle and power shift it to him. Yes, 100%. please. Just give all your resources to just to Jinx because he is your main carry right now. No one else is. Four, yeah, okay. Oh no. Gamomo, don't go in there. Okay, never mind. He warded it. Good. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> that man was about to and eat, uh, Vladimir and Cassidy. And uh, man, dude, this itemization oh, in this no. game is something. Yeah, it's kind of tilting me a little bit because uh, Greg is not sure, man. Greg, so it, I mean, they, Karma went Chemtech Purifier and Jinx Phil built an uh, Mortal Reminder. Just go IE. Just go IE after the mortal reminder. Just keep you're too strong to care about. Yeah, too, you're too strong to care about defensive items. Okay, well, it looks like we might have oh, a little scrap a here. Oh. But where's the Skyla ulti? We gotta look for the Skyla ulti. That's what's gonna matter. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, but Skyla's ulti Sarah... is not hitting anything, and Dave Too Brave oh. is just okay. free hitting in the back line. And like yeah. we said, and what Ken said, Dave Too Brave is the Ray to win. <laughs> Great positioning here. They might be able to finish this to get oh, more kills out of this. Oh, okay. Oh, Knock up. Going good, through. Good, good combo. Good combo. If they get, if they kill Skyla here, oh, no. Dave Too Brave gets maybe. Oh, but okay. toxic. Oh wait, the wow. kiting. Okay. Wow, that was such wow, a this good was... kite by by Dave Too Brave there. I thought he was gonna die by Cassidy or like toxic player. And it seems like uh, soft cooking wow, here is being a little bit emo emotional. Tra traps, traps, traps. No. Way traps. Crazy. That's what are you doing? That's a throw, bro. That, you know, oh I... my gosh. You know, you played it well the whole time. Even, even letting, uh, even oh. letting, um, just the Kog'Maw and the Bear get away, like, there. that was worth. <laughs> 
that was worth, bro. Like you kited them, you got some kills, you didn't kill mm -hmm. the jinx, but yeah, that's a throw, to, bro. You that's did a throw not by need to. Okay. You, you dove did not too need far. to go throw that. That was wild. That was wild. And you fed the jinx, man. What what did we say the jinx was at before? Eight, six, and I five. Think, He's like no, eleven, six, and yeah, six now. I'm not like, sure. So jinx is almost full build. Just please keep giving her resources. So she needs to get that GA. That yeah, is, she, that she is needs an rough, IE. Man. We, 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 no, she, she already has it. She already has the IE. She already she has got the IE. Oh my yeah, god. She got the IE. So now she's really Honestly, big of a threat. If I was in, in my in this shoes, I'd sell the Mortal Reminder and get a Runons or something. Or even a, a no, BT. Maybe, Keep I think yourself he alive. Should, I think you should just sell the Phantom, go for the beat, uh, go for the Runon. For the Runons, yeah. And then build the GA. Phantom, all, you don't need that. You just need to have good positioning, just like last fight. You saw that. He did not get hit yeah. by the Seraphine ult. And he won the team, or he won yeah, his he won team that team fight, fight at least. Yeah. For good positioning. Props to him. Usually okay, he's looks known like there for, might be another scrap for Baron. Usually he's known for his uh, reckless play, but he wasn't reckless at all at that time. True. They oh, need to face check man. this. Oh, but this is oh, actually really no. bad. Oh, Dave Too Brave missed. Skyler missing the, the ulti on Dave Too Brave. Oh, Jomai trying to 1v1 a Jinx with four oh, items. No. The Toxic Woods. Ah, oh, the Kogma. It's unlucky. And Unlucky. True. Oh, that's a good equalizer, down, actually. Man. It could kill two people in the back line here. Oh, Wait, man. Go Momo might be able to clean oh. this game up. Oh. Oh. They have Not they have the Chemtech oh. Putrefire on Vladimir, so the healing oh, nice. is getting denied. Oh no. Okay. Nice. So, Toxic wood oh. player and Skylar were afraid. Go Momo, flash it. over. Do it. You know, oh, no. you know you want to. <laughs> the temptations, don't listen. That's, you know what, like Jinx died, so that kind of sucked, but man, mm -hmm. rest of the team but, did what they needed to do, and like, anytime that they equalize on kills, like this was 3v3, right, or 3 for 3 like, that's mm -hmm. a win for the losing team, because you're already behind, so, like, I mean, I think if you're good as gold, you're happy right now, and if you're FD, yeah. you're kind of nervous. I actually mm -hmm. don't think Ocean can be, should be pushing bot anymore, there's no inhibitor, or, right, there's so no So, what I noticed also in that fight was that the Momo was not there the whole time. It was a 4v5, and guess what? Uh, they still came FD, out. FD struggled. Yeah. Imagine if the Momo was there in that choke point with his equalizer and his uh, rumble damage. Maybe they could have won, yeah. right, uh, on top of it. But the Momo wasn't there, unfortunately. Yeah, and I mean, unfortunately for good as gold, like, they're I... going to have to keep somebody bot, right? Like, they need to keep... True. The lead, yeah. The wing, the Whoever has the TP. But both, the bot. Yeah, both of them have TP, uh, the solo laners. Uh, Rumble, Karma. I think the the main turning point for that, that fight was actually Joe Mai flashing in, trying to kill 1v1 mm -hmm. day two. Break. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That was a very weird thing <clears> to do. It, it, it was a good idea, but the difference is, is the itemization. You know, mm -hmm. what is Bork Gale Force Rage Blade going to do to a, a four item crit build? Of course, the crit build is going to just do way more damage. Yep. Yep. And this is why you should try a Kogma crit, guys. Really. It's just better. Give it a it's shot. It's just better. No, none of that uh, on hit because there's no tank. There's only one tank and it's Alistar. You can build LDR for it, right? Yep. You can just build our LDR. Itemization, please. People know about it. It's oh. very important in games. Kogma, oh man, Kogma, dude. Oh, Kogma, <laughs> dude. <laughs> if Dave's too brave did not show there, <laughs> it Jome, was over. Jomei was just like walking in, dude, like a truby. He doesn't care. But you know, like someone from FD has to take the initiative and be assertive, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, no one's doing that. Like that should be soft cookie. I agree. Soft cookie should be like either soft cookie yeah. or Ocean Can can do it just because he's Vladimir. He can yeah. just uh, five man OT or four man OT, whatever he hits. Get this gold, Dave. Get the gold. Dude. It's free. That's free. Do get the gold. Ah yeah. oh, man, dude, the, the amount of gold that's just being missing out. Like yeah, look at that bot wave. Look at the top crazy, wave. Man. Oh, but the the toxic wood player has a really good flank here, actually. Yeah, this, and he's and getting the gold. And it seems like <laughs> TAG doesn't know about it. This will be very, oh, very interesting. Man. I have, oh my god, it's interesting. This, it, this all depends on where toxic wood player goes from here. And this yep. is like Cly said earlier. Like, if you're FD, you can be patient. Like, you have the towers. Like, you have you the have lead. towers. You have the waves. Yeah. You can. Okay, now they're going in. Oh wow. 
Oh, and good equalizer. Oh uh, man. Well, just going to FD. Just if you're like a GG, you pull out. You just pull out. You don't yeah, even do yeah. it. What a waste you of go... time. Though. What a waste of time. Look at that. Yep. Bottom wave, like free gold miss. And it's now you're gonna get and the gold. And Gamomo, please give this to your Jinx. Your one and two yep, parry. Yep. Thank you. And, I really um, don't like seeing the three fully or the two fully built. Uh, what's that? Anti or grievous wound items on both Gamomo and Jinx here. It's you well, have Chem Tank Purifier. Purifier. Yeah, the thing is, is that enough. if Karma dies, then Chem Tank is gone, right? Your your one and True. only grievous wound is gone. So you have to at least split it among the team because if your Karma dies, you're just gonna be a sitting duck doing uh, no grievous wounds, right? No anti heal. Sure. Yeah. I agree, but it's just Jinx doesn't need it. Maybe, okay, yeah, maybe Marumbo is fine, but Jinx, for sure, does not need it. Yeah. It's just redundant, right? Like, you could get more off of something else. But it looks like just are going to run down mid, which they, FD could just do, run down mid. They, they have no reason to I'm be not, anywhere else. I'm Day not two sure Brave is what in the world GAG is doing. Oh, but Alistar is caught oh, here. Maybe no, might done. die. He's done. He never yeah, even Joe uses Mai, ult. Joe Mai just Oh dead. my goodness. Oh my god. Ocean god. <laughs> good peel. That was good peel by both yeah. uh, okay. Mr. Miyagi and Gomomo, but it doesn't matter because oh they can't. My maybe? Goodness. Oh, yep. It doesn't oh, matter. Yep. And that's wow. a win to FD. There goes uh, FD winning the game. Wow. And. Let's be real here, honestly, this game could have gone anywhere if everyone just yep. played correctly. Yep, true. True, true, true. But then again... But nonetheless, good game by both. Well played. It was such this, a nail-biter, and it, it could have gone anyway. It was Just a, good a team game. comp of uh, FD just winning straight out. I'm gonna pull the FD guys in here for a bit. Let's, let's talk to them a little bit. That mm -hmm. was a pretty good game. I, uh, You know, yeah, let's... uh, Give me one moment, let me pull them in real quick. I do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna straight up ask Joe May. Something. <laughs> Whoever it is. Joe May. Yung ano? Uh, Joe... Yung layout ng map parang league lang din. Hey, can I can I pull you guys in? Who who wants to be interviewed? Oh, X Skyla. Sure. She carried this no, game. Joe Joe May and X Skyla. Oh no! I don't want huh? to. I don't want to. Thor Bucks then. Thor Bucks. Yes. Oh yeah, sure. Sure, I'll put you on. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me figure out how to. How I'm gonna do this. What oh. she did. Hello, hello. Yo, hold on. What's I, up? What's I'm, up? I'm trying to bring in Thorbuck, so I don't know how to move in. Nah, dude, bring Skyla, bro. She MVP. She's scared. She didn't want to talk. Oh. What? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Wait, I got this. Dude. Just private messenger, Miss MVP. We need you for an interview. <laughs> hmm. uh, dude, I'm trying to. How am I gonna move this? I can't. Uh... What a good game. Explosive game. Okay. It was a. It was a good one. I. I really enjoyed it. All right. So guys, we got a uh, Thor Bucks. Thor Bucks. You're, this is Toxic Wood player, right? Oh yes. Hey, my man. Our man awesome in the mid game, lane. Yeah, good game. Um, hmm. So, I were you worried? Let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Were you worried about the pace of the game as it got later towards, like, the you know the ending part of the, the match? Were you worried that uh, Good as Gold might have been able to pull off a comeback? Not really. Not really? You felt you were... Because I had faith in my team. Oh yeah. Hey. There you nice. go. That's all that mattered. So I I mean we've seen you play Yone, we've seen you play a bunch of different characters. This is the first time that we've seen you in the league play Cassidy, I think. I'm not sure. But um how do you feel in your particular performance? How well did you did you feel that you did? Like what grade? Uh did just you give pretty you? mediocre. Mediocre. Like during team fights, I was just out there like stealing the kills. Sure. Just yeah, we like saw it. you get like a triple kill a couple times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize I got a triple. I was just ulting everywhere. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> so, uh, the, who, go ahead. The, the cast in the pick was basically a trope pick because I was supposed to play like Yone or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's kind of boring. 
since everyone was like full tank on their team. Can't play against Rumble. So I, was, I just told Jimmy like, I'll pick my pocket pick. And he's like, Twisted Fate? He's like, no, I'll pick Cassidy. And he's like, you never play that game, man. And uh, it kind of <laughs> went well. Wow, okay, well it worked out for yeah. you. I mean, like, hey, you did. Like, there were like big team fights where honestly, like damage was lacking. Like once uh, Jome was gone, there was, or Ocean Can was like <laughs> yeah. not there, like damage was lacking. and. Cassidy was able to clean it up, but who do you think uh, was the pivotal, like had the pivotal performance on your team to carry you guys to the win? It was definitely not Jermé, but it was a. I can confidently <laughs> say it was X Skyla with the surfing ult. Yes, yeah, sure. I agree, hundred percent. We won like half of the team fights. She would charm everyone. I would ult in Everfrost and just eat. They would just all just die. Yeah. She she did amazing. Gee. So and also the uh the, the soft cookie with the volibear. True. Insane ult to <laughs> initiate the fights. Yeah. Man, we I wanted Skyler to come in here for the interview because I was like, dude, she's MVP. She literally won that game. No, she mm -hmm. doesn't want to. <laughs> they, they forced me into this. So you guys, uh, uh, you guys will be playing the loser of uh UOG versus Collab Koalas. Uh, do you think, I mean, do you have a preference of whatever team you'd like to face? I hope it's UOG, because we have PTSD from a... <laughs> what's the collab? Yeah, collab, Ponkin, yeah. Ponkin, so. Yeah, so. Ponkins is too good, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, I, I'm going to be real. I was thinking that Soft Cookie, like, because I don't know if you guys know, but they invaded your jungle, the red, right? They invaded the red Multiple to times. start. Yeah, dude. So oh, I was thinking was Soft so Cookie bad. was going to have a bad game, but he didn't. Like, you know, he played pretty well. Like, there was a couple times it was pretty sus. <laughs> Like, you know, when really? he dove the Jinx, when he dove <laughs> he, the Jinx. He went like 0-9, though. I mean, you know, he could have played a lot worse, you know? But... <laughs> I think that was the worst he could play. I was I was playing the game, and I was, he would come to my lane. He was like, Owen, like, just zero kills, zero deaths. Come back, 0-2 in like five minutes, two more minutes. I just see Diana with like six kills. I'm like, this game is over. Oh, no, no, we're talking about this game. Like, Oh, this game? Because they, they, oh. uh, they invaded his jungle today too but you know he played it a lot better and i i would say that gomomo wasn't as aggressive as pumpkins obviously was in the jungle but yeah um yeah you know okay well good luck man you know you guys have another match uh like probably in an hour or so and that'll be on stream that's a best of one you know we wish you but guys is the another best. one yeah you guys have another oh, game no. you better figure <laughs> that out you better go get that figured out man yeah all right we'll let you go okay thank you that's so there you have it, guys. This is a you know this is a recorded broadcast of the lower bracket action for the Laddie Esports League Spring Split 2021. Uh, I'm Ken, joined with Clyde and Demiman. Um, any last words, guys, about the game? No, it was just a good watch. It was a good game. For, yeah. Our, yeah, it was a good casting for for me, Demiman, and even you, Ken. I, I'm actually super, I feel bad for Good as Gold. Like, you know, especially with the way this game kind of played out. Like, there mm -hmm. was a 17-minute a delay instead of a, fifth, you know, like, each team has a 15-minute grace period. And uh, these guys were kind enough to let it go over. Well, I was kind yeah. enough to let it go over a couple more minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, actually, like, Good as Gold has been, in terms of... Uh, just coordination and discipline and showing up to things on time. They have been really, really good with it all season. And you can see in their play that they have good communication. And, it, you know, honestly, the Seraphine pick really just crapped on them, right? It really just destroyed them. The team fights were just could not go in their way. That's too big of a handicap. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we get to see them again next uh, season. I think they're a solid team. And, uh, you know, We'll see how FD does in the next round. I, I think it'll be a good match versus UOG. So, and FD um, has I agree. been collab I, koalas I, before. So, they are the only team to be collab koalas. Yeah. Anything is possible. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're gonna close it out. Thank you for uh, tuning in. I uh, will see you next week. Choo choo. Bye bye.